Hello everyone, I am Sammy, your devoted manga otaku, and welcome to my manga space. Today is a very big day because I never thought this day would come. As you can probably tell from the title of this video, I'm hauling a very special order from Bright Stuff today. Now, just to paint you guys a little picture, just so you understand how long I've been waiting for this order, I ordered these manga January 2nd, 2021. That's three months before even starting my manga tube channel. It's literally been a year and a half since I placed this order, which is insane. What's even crazier is that there are only three manga series in this box. I wonder what they could be. Leave your predictions in the comment section below. And with that, I invite you to grab a coffee or other beverage of your choice and let's unbox and haul some manga. Now, I was a little surprised that Ray Stuff sent this package to me because this technically isn't my entire order. For those unaware, Canadian customers shopping at Right Stuff have their orders held at the warehouse until the entire order is stocked and ready to ship. But Right Stuff sent this parcel to me despite there being three books out of stock. Actually, they sent me a total of three partial orders in June. I'm assuming they needed the warehouse space, but I'm not entirely sure. Right Stuff did confirm that they'll be sending the rest of my orders at a later date, which is fine by me. It just means that I'll have some unfinished and incomplete series on my shelves until those shipments come in. So to start off, I'm going to haul my least anticipated series first and then work my way up to the holy grail of manga series. Don't get me wrong, I'm excited for everything in this order, but there's something really special in here and you'll understand when you see it. So the first series that I'm hauling today is Limit. This is by Keiko Suenobu. This is published by Vertical, and I believe it's rated 18 plus. I can't actually find the rating, but I'm pretty sure it's rated 18 plus. So here's volume two, and then we have volume three, and volume four. I really love the covers of these books. I love the combination of the white with the really bright colors. I think that it looks really really cute and pretty even though this is kind of a scary manga. <laughs> and this is number six, or sorry that was number five. And then this is final volume, volume six. So from these spines, which are super adorable, by the way, you would think this is a shoujo manga, but The Limit is a completed survival horror series. And when I read the first volume a couple years ago, I went in blind and didn't really know what to expect. And to put it simply, I was shocked. <laughs> The Limit is by the same mangaka who wrote Life, which is a very dark and depressing story about a teenager enduring extreme instances of violence, sexual abuse, and bullying. So I assumed this series was going to be crazy, but I didn't realize how crazy. <laughs> Now, I've only read the first volume, but I definitely got Lord of the Flies vibes from what I read, and the manga does have some psychological horror elements as well. It definitely stands apart from other manga in my collection and is a welcomed addition to my shelves. Another neat thing about these books is that they're tiny when compared to regular manga. Let's see if I can find a manga to compare so that you guys can see the size difference. So this is a regular manga. 
and that is a volume of the limit so they're teeny tiny these are going to look super cute on the shelf because of their size despite being anything but cute content wise <laughs> Suenobu Sensei's art style is very expressive and graphic, so I'm excited to see their illustrations paired with survival horror. Also, I should note that these books contain gore, violence, and bullying, just in case that's triggering for you. I plan on reading this for the Spooky Smart Bitch Readathon in August, so I should be sharing my thoughts on this series fairly soon. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the next manga series in this box. And that's... <laughs> Takane and Hana. And this is by Yuki Shiwasu. This is rated 16 plus, I believe, and it's published by Viz Media. So I'm just going to pull out all of the books so that you guys can see the covers. So we have volume 14 and 15. And then here we have volume 16. Here's volume seven. I think that this cover is absolutely gorgeous. And here's volume 10. Volume 8. I really like this one too, but that's only because I am addicted to candy and chocolate. <laughs> and we have volume 11, volume 12. There's a lot of books in here. I just don't want them to fall on themselves. I always worry that something is going to bend and I'm going to be devastated. <laughs> And then we have volume 13, which is another very pretty cover in the series. And then we have volume nine. Okay, I'm going to put these volumes in order so that you guys can see the spines. Now the question is, is there a way to hold these books? It doesn't look awkward. And the answer is probably no, because it's a huge stack of manga. <laughs> And here we have all the spines. I absolutely love how they look. They are so colorful and will be a beautiful addition to my shelves. If you watched my collection video, by the way, if you haven't, you should totally check it out. <laughs> but if you have watched it, you already know that I own volumes one through five of Takane and Hana already. I bought them off of eBay a couple years ago for a great price and placed this order shortly after. Additionally, when I placed this order, Takane and Hana was still ongoing but it has since been completed at 18 volumes. I bought volumes 17 and 18 as they were being released, so I do have the complete series, but those volumes will be hauled in a later video. As for the storyline, it follows a girl named Hana who takes her sister's place in an arranged marriage meeting. There she meets Takane, the scion of a powerful and successful business group, but soon after greeting him, the meeting ends in disaster after Hana sees Takane's rude and arrogant behavior. However, Hana's distaste and refusal to put up with Takane unwittingly draws his interest and he becomes interested in learning more about Hana, much to her dismay. This manga features a lot of my favorite story elements and tropes. I love a good enemies to lovers type story. I love manga focused on arranged marriages and I love age gap romances. It checks all of these boxes for me. Plus, a lot of people find this series extremely funny, which is an added bonus. Takane and Hana is a shoujo series that I've wanted to read for a very long time. Ever since my best friend described the premise to me, I knew it was something I wanted to add to my collection. I'm really looking forward to reading it after hauling those last couple volumes, and yeah. It's been a long time coming. <laughs> and now for the creme de la creme of this manga haul, we have volumes four through 21, minus eight, nine, and 12. 
of Nana by Ai Yazawa. So Nana is published by Viz Media. It's rated 16 plus and uh, I'm really happy. <laughs> so we've got volume four. We have volume 13. Volume six. Volume 15, Volume 7, Volume 16. This one is actually quite a bit thicker than the other ones. We have Volume 17, Volume 19. I don't know why, but like I really like this cover. I think it's because they're having a bath together and I don't know. I don't know about you guys, but when I was like little, I would have baths with my friends and I don't know, there's just something nostalgic about that. And then we have volume five, volume 18, which is another thicker manga volume. Volume 14, Volume 11, another big one, Volume 9. Just uh, as I'm pulling out all these books, I actually think that Nana, is Nana my, my biggest manga series? I think maybe Fruits Basket has 23 volumes. So it's like my second largest manga series now. So excited. And then we have both volumes 20 and 21. And the box has been hauled. It is empty. And now I'm gonna have to try to find a way to show this to you guys. I can't promise I'm gonna be able to hold it up while I talk though, because this is gonna be pretty heavy. <laughs> I'll have to double check, but it looks like I'm missing volumes 8, 10, and 12, not 8, 9, and 12. So I will have to look at my order and double check that that's what Right Stuff is going to send me because that would not be ideal. I mean, I got this. I can like hold them sideways like this for you guys. Mm, feels right, you know? Feels good. <laughs> So I don't know if you guys can see them, but here are all the spines. I can't believe this is actually happening. <laughs> now I already own volumes one through three of Nana and from this haul, there are some volumes missing because they're out of stock, but Viz Media is currently reprinting Nana. So my missing volumes will probably arrive at a later date and I will have to ask them about that uh, mix up with some of the volumes. So if you're a manga enthusiast, you've probably read or at least heard of Nana before, but for people who don't know, Nana is a classic shoujo series following two 20-year-old women. These girls are complete opposites, sharing only their first name and a desire to move to Tokyo to pursue their dreams. Nana Komatsu is hoping to leave the drama of failed relationships in the past and find love in the big city, while Nana Osaki aspires to become Japan's number one rock and roll superstar. The girls meet by chance on the train to Tokyo, and even though they come from completely different backgrounds, they somehow become best friends and end up renting an apartment together. When I was a teenager, I read some of this series in Shoujo Beat. I'm not sure how far I made it, but I think I got about halfway. From what I remember, this series is phenomenal. I remember thinking that it explores a lot of things I've never seen before in manga, like sex, drugs, and infidelity. Also, I recall this manga destroying me emotionally, so I have that to look forward to. <laughs> Unfortunately though, Nana was put on hiatus after Yazawa Sensei suddenly fell ill in 2009, so it's possible that we might never get an ending to this series, 
but I still wanted to collect and read it because it's very iconic. <laughs> I'm going to hold off adding it to my TBR for now, just until I get those last few books, but I'm beaming with happiness at the fact that I finally own most of this series. And when you collect something that has been on your wish list for over a decade, it's a good feeling. <laughs> And that, friends, is the end of this long-awaited and extremely anticipated manga unboxing and haul video. If you've read any of these titles, I'd love to know your thoughts. If you're interested in watching more videos from me, you can check out my end card where I'll have links to my most recent videos. I hope you all have a magnificent day, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!